Hey, Andreas, hope you're doing well. How much more comfortable do you feel now than you did when you first got traded? That was the first time in your career you come to a new team. Can you explain maybe the, just the difference in, in your comfort level now? Um, yeah, I mean, obviously you uh, you get used to it. Obviously, it was a new experience for me getting traded, and uh, it happened quick. But um, no, I, like you said, I think it was every day. It gets better, and you know, I knew some of the boys already, so it kind of made it easy. And I think everyone in the room is a great, great guy. So they've uh, they've made the adjustment pretty easy and uh, pretty fluent. So it's been it's been good, and I think it's just getting better. Hey, Andreas, uh, hope you're well. I uh, just have a question regarding Leon Dreisaitl. Of course, he was nominated for the Ted Lindsay Award today. You've uh, seen him as an opponent, and now for about nine games, you've seen him as a teammate. Is there one thing that maybe sticks out for you seeing him firsthand uh, on the bench or on the ice with him? Um, obviously he's a world-class player and, you know, definitely one of the best. And I think everyone knows that. And I think, uh, just being around him every day, you kind of see why, and, you know, you can see him, how he, how he controls the play and the pot when he has the puck on his stick, it's, uh, you know, real smooth, real calm. And, you know, he just finds a way to find that open man. And obviously his scoring touches, you know, up there with, uh, with the best. So he's, uh, he's got an unbelievable skill set all around and, uh, you know, it's a lot of fun to play with and and, and watch. Our next question from Jacob. Hey, Jacob. Uh, Hi, Andreas. Uh, I'm just wondering if you can and talk about what it means to you guys to have Edmonton as the hub city. You know, just the pros and and if there is any cons. Um, I think just being at home uh, is definitely a. Uh, you know, a good feeling. It's something that I think everyone's accustomed to and knows uh, knows what's going on. And, um, you know, I think it's just the, that home feeling um, definitely helps for sure. Andreas, just want to ask you, uh, you only played a few games at the end of the se season w after the trade, and now you're moving around. Would it be nice to get on one line where you could say, okay, here's who I'm playing with all the time? Um, I think anytime you can build chem, it's, uh, you know, it's a positive, and I think it helps a lot. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of good guys in this room and a lot of great players. So it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's your job to build chemistry with all of them as quick as possible. And, uh, you know, just be ready to play with whoever you're playing with. Andreas, I was just wondering that obviously phase three is probably the riskiest of all the phases before you guys actually get into the quarantine bubble in terms of the COVID stuff. Now, is staying safe something that you guys kind of actively talk about in the dressing room? And like, because when you leave the rink, you're kind of you're out in the real world. Are you masked up? Do you have to avoid human contact? How do you go about that? Um, well, I mean, I think everyone knows what's going on. Um, I think it's, uh, you know, everyone's job to take care of themselves. And I think uh, everyone knows what's at risk and, uh, and how, how we've all been taught in the last couple of weeks and months uh, how to, you know, take care of yourself and do the best you can to, you know, minimize your chance of spreading and getting it. But uh, I think everyone, everyone everywhere is doing a, is a pretty decent job of uh, player wise and staff wise. So I think it's, you know, just maintaining it and, you know, doing what we're, uh, we're told from protocol standpoint and safety standpoint. And, you know, there's uh, not much more you can do besides that. Next question. Hi, Andreas. Uh, I'm just wondering, uh, what have you guys been told when it comes to life in the bubble once you actually get there at this point? And uh, if you heard or know the story from the NBA players had to quarantine for 10 days because he crossed the line to the get line, some yeah. pick up food. Yeah. So what are your thoughts on that? And what have you been told about what life in the bubble is going to be like? Uh, I don't think we've uh, we've gone through it too much on what, what it's going to be like exactly in the in the in the bubble obviously we have the hotel set and the teams that are staying where but you know as uh guidelines and restrictions um 
I'm sure it'll be pretty similar to what's going on now. Obviously, there'll be restrictions on where to go and what you can do, but uh, we haven't spoke about it too much. I think, uh, obviously, as we get closer to moving into that bubble, I think we'll dial it in and make sure we're all uh, on point and taking care of ourselves with the, with the rules.